Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about most valuable Roosevelt time of 1990s. Some of them at lower mint state, 10 cents. We will talk about the rarity, mintage and current value at higher mint conditions. So hit subscribe button below this video and let's get started. The 1996 Roosevelt times are really common. The US mint struck nearly 3 billion examples in Philadelphia and Denver making them very easy to find in circulation. They appear to be scarce only in MS-67 condition, with full bands or higher. In MS-68 with full bands, there are very few graded examples and very unlikely that any examples exist in MS-69 full bands or higher. Today at mid 68 with full bands, Philadelphia variants are worth over $1,000, while those struck in Denver are worth over $750, according to guiding price list of PCGS. Most valuable 1996 dime with full bands was sold in April 2022 in an eBay auction. The 1997P Roosevelt dime is very common as US Mint struck close to 1 billion examples. With non full bands details on reverse torch design, it's common up to about MS67 condition. Anything grading higher is much more difficult to find. With full bands details, it scars in mean state 6 to 7. And anything grading higher is very difficult to find and usually commands a strong premium. The 1997D Roosevelt dime can easily be found up to MS67 condition. In MS68 or higher with full bands, they are considered very scarce to rare and worth over $2,000. Here is the most expensive regular strike dime of that issue. 1997D at mid state 68 with full bands. Full bands or full torch are grading designations which can be applied to circulation strike Roosevelt dimes. In general, the attribution indicates a coin with a strong, well defined strike as evidenced by full details of the torch located on the reverse of the coin. So, this superb dime with pristine surfaces and very light champagne toning, ended up selling for $2,160 in 2020 at Heritage Auctions. Collectors should have no problem obtaining an example of 1999 Roosevelt dime, as mint struck over 3 billion examples, making it very easy to find. Examples up to mint state 6 to 7 condition are fairly common. Only in MS-68 or higher it's scarce, with full bands in MS-68 and higher it's even scarcer. At mean state 69, they are worth between $800-$2,000. For instance, this highly elusive Tencent from Larry Shapiro collection ended up selling for $1,610 in 2010 at Heritage Auctions. But the most expensive 1999 dime is not regular strike 10 cent, but error dime with bonded 3 piece of verse and die cap. Grade at mid state 65 by Anex. This Roosevelt dime adhered to a verse die during its first strike. It was struck at least two additional times, bonding with two planchets fed between strikes. The reverse design appears blurry, as it was struck against at least two planchets following the initial strike. The verse has attractive gold toning, sold on April 17, 2008 for $3,737.50 at Heritage Auctions. With a mintage of over 2.3 billion, collectors should have no trouble finding a 1998 Roosevelt dime in circulation. Examples up to about MS65 should be easy to obtain. In MS66 to MS67, they are much scarcer. Anything grading higher is considered rare and worth over $700. Most valuable regular struck 1998 dime was sold in 2020 at Heritage Auctions. This 10 cent at mid state 68 with full bands from Maltese collection was bargained for $1200. However, this error dime exceeds all of its coincidence in terms of price. 1998p with massive bond weighing 72.3 grams, approximately equaling to 32 dimes. A spectacular modern mint error and among the more dramatic and enticing examples we can ever recall having seen. 
a hefty group of approximately 32 distorted dimes bonded together as a result of malfunction of a coinage press. Bonded coins rank among the rarest and most desirable types of mint errors and inevitably make for fabulous displays and enthralling conservation pieces. Sold in 2011 for $9200 at Stax Powers.